Just you, just me. Let's find a cozy spot where no one can see. Just us, just we. We've missed an awful lot. What bliss it'll be. Oh, gee. What are your charms for? What are my arms for? Use your imagination. Just you, just me. We'll tie a lover's knot. Just say you love me. That's my sister Skylar and her boyfriend Holden. And that's me. Well, I'm Juna. DJ U N A. And everyone calls me DJ. Now I'm gonna level with you. We are not the typical kind of family you'd find in a musical comedy. For one thing, we got dough. And we live right here on Park Avenue in a big apartment, a penthouse. Dad's a lawyer. I mean, I call him dad, but actually he's stepdad. Because you see, well, there's original dad, right? Who married mom and they had me. And then their stepdad, well, he had two kids with his first wife when... All right, look, may maybe this is all getting a little confusing for you. You see, there's Lane and Laura. Those are my half-sisters. And they're really great. I mean, a little twitty at times, but we love each other and we have a million laughs together. And of course, my stepbrother, Scott, who's very smart, but currently on the outs with the family because he's become a conservative Republican, which has caused my stepfather to have a stroke since we're all liberal Democrats. How can you expect people on welfare to develop any sort of incentives if they're getting handouts? Well, what are you saying? Somebody who can't work for one reason or another has to just be discarded? Like welfare does not work. It's the same outmoded oh, liberal fantasy sure. world as affirmative action, not allowing school prayer, and coddling of criminals. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with my own son, with my flesh and blood. I, I can't believe it, unless some, some large Republican pea pods not are in the basement pods, and take Dad. over your body. Ideas, virile, modern ideas. A strong America, the right to bear arms. Arms? What are you, yes. guns? Are you crazy? What the hell is the matter with you? I don't understand you anymore. What? Relax, Wait a Bob. minute, wait a minute, excuse me. Steffi, bring down a copy of my will and an eraser, okay? If Dad's a liberal Democrat, then you'd have to say that Mom is the one thing more extreme. She's a guilty liberal Democrat. See, well, he grew up poor, and he knows what it is to work like a dog. 
But mom came from money and luxury and, and, you know, spends all her time, you know, doing volunteer work for everybody. I mean, you know, she's with the American Civil Liberties Union and Save the Whales, and she raises dough for the Whitney Museum and Lenox Hill Hospital. And, you know, she's always got something going. You know, like throwing some chic soiree to help the New York Philharmonic. Lane and Laura go to Nightingale, which is the Switzy school on East 92nd Street. So yeah, but they have way travels. They have way travels no, every so other season. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There he is. He is so gorgeous. Who is he? We don't really know, but we always see him around this neighborhood. She's in love with him from afar. I'm sure we can think of a way to get her to meet him. Please, no humiliating schemes. You guys, my mom is in there with the patient. Claire's their best friend, but her mom's a shrink on Central Park West. Years ago, Claire drilled a secret hole in the wall, and, you know, we get our kicks after school sometimes, kind of tuning in on her clientele. Well, I've been having these uh, fantasies about other men, and, uh, you know, it makes me feel bad and, um, you know, guilty. Oh, I, ha I, um, I had that elevator dream again and um, I'm in the elevator and it just keeps going up and up and up now you have to meet grandpa 88 years old I found him at Grand Central Station he thought he was at the Botanical Gardens well you have to keep your eye on him I mean last year he wandered out of the bathroom in a towel and got online in Times Square we had to send Frida to get him back. Oh, she's our maid. Well, personally, I think she was Hitler's maid at Birch's Garden. But she's the only one who can handle Grandpa. So, any sour life, here, I found your art supports in the stew. Whatever Hello, were they doing in the stew? Hi, Grandpa. Do we shiver Hi, and Frida. Things? Finally, there's my dad, who lives in Paris, but who visits a lot. You see, he and my stepdad are great friends. And if you ask me, he still has a crush on Mom. Although they've been divorced for years. Well, they're all friends, though, and they come to each other with problems. I can't believe it. Giselle left me. Look at this face. Look at that face. She left me with my best friend suddenly out of left. No, field. but she didn't give you any warning. Nothing, Nothing at all. The two of them, they look at that. Did you ever see anything so I'm, no, you know, I'm so cool. distraught over this, I can't tell you. I'm you know, I'm gonna kill myself. That's what I should I should I should I should go to Paris and jump off the Eiffel Tower. I'll be dead. You know, in fact, if I get the Concorde, I could be dead three hours earlier, which would be perfect. Or Wait a minute. It, with a time change, I could be alive for six hours in New York, but dead three hours in Paris. I could get things done, and I could also be dead. No, wait a minute. You didn't hear the signs. She must have given you some signs, what Joe. Kind of, I mean, what do you think I'm an idiot? What, what, do you, what kind of signs do you think she gave me? You think, uh, you know, I found his photo in her underwear drawer, or, or she muttered his no. name when we're making love no, at the climax? No, I'm not talking about that. No, I'm... that's what happened. Oh. What? I didn't see it. I couldn't Joe, put it together. You know, oh I'm God. really glad you, you didn't marry her. You remember? I told I you. I said, don't. Oh, I would have been know? happy to no, marry him. Oh. I mean, I'm really glad. You, wait, you want a glass or something? You want some wine I'll take or something? anything. i got to have a drink. You know? you know what the sad part is? Is that I, I thought everything was going well. Oh, I thought that things Joe. were, you know. Yeah, you always pick the wrong women. Hey, I picked you. Yeah, we got divorced. Because yeah, you were impossible to live with. I was impossible to live with. I love this. You couldn't figure out whether you wanted to be a, a psychoanalyst or a writer. Yeah, so I compromised. I became a writer and a patient. 
You know, we're gonna find you somebody. We got, we know, we know a lot of people. Can oh, we find God, somebody to be Bob, right? I've been for trying him? since we got divorced to find the right woman for him, somebody to match up with his personality. But I'm beginning, honey, bring another glass. Right. I'm beginning to wonder if the world population of women isn't too limited. Thank you. Well, I mean, you've the... had really bad luck. That's the no, problem. No, he hasn't. No. He's had an unerring sense of poor choice. And the question is, does he want to spend his golden years with somebody or not? What are you into my golden years yes. or suddenly? Well, you, you have know, to think about those things. Men age differently than women. Two more years, you're gonna, you know, I'm gonna look like your son oh, is that what's was gonna happen. So mean. <laughs> well, don't, don't you talk laugh. about my golden years. That's not she, funny. She, she's got me in a, in a home already. But what about Madeline? <laughs> After me. Madeline was yeah. one. Madeline was was an archaeologist. She was, you know, she was fabulous. Madeline was a nymphomaniac. Okay, she uh, had a little problem with fidelity, you know, and I didn't happen to see it. But but yeah. she was a what brilliant about Carol? woman. Remember Carol? What's her name? What was her last Carol name? Carol was uh, a poet and a member of Mensa. So she was, was a heroin addict. Yes, yeah, she was also a heroin addict. But but I thought it was insulin. You know, so how no, was I? You know, this, you know no. what the problem is? No, this listen, is to me. The listen, no, listen, listen, listen. He's still in love with you. I I've oh, always honey. said this. I mean, who can blame him? Oh, of course he is. No, oh, come here. That's, come that's here, your my problem. two men. <laughs> Two men. I'm, uh, I'm pining after Giselle. We're going to get somebody. If you're going to get somebody who's nearly normal, I don't normal, know if we're really going to get her. somebody. We will. I know. This we'll is the problem. Hey. 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 What's all the secrecy about? Why Harry Winston? Well, listen, I'm, I want you to help me pick out an engagement ring for Skylar. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. So, you're looking for an engagement ring? Right, we're getting married. Uh, I'm getting married, not to her. Yes, I see. Now, uh, what size did you have in mind? What size? Uh-huh. Oh, um... Well, you know, she's not huge. I mean, she's not bony, either. She's got flesh So on something finger, but... simple but elegant? That's it. Simple but elegant. Exactly. I don't think Like this one. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. That is oh, beautiful. That. I, that's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. Like, look Hello. Look at that. <laughs> So what is that uh, gonna cost me? I like it. Fifty-five thousand. Fifty-five thousand dollars, you say? Uh, <clears throat> well, let me take this off then, because I don't. I don't think that actually, as I look at it, it's really <clears throat> to Skylar's taste. It's kind of tacky. I mean, she's not a mafia bride. You know, will you help me out? Well, please? here's a lovely one. That that is that is pretty. pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> well, I don't. What is that gonna know. cost me? About a fifteen hundred, two thousand, eight thousand, eight thousand dollars. Um, it's more in the ballpark. I mean, right, it's in the range, yeah. It's right neighborhood. Right. Not my neighborhood, it's but... It's a better neighborhood. <sighs> what the hell? What the hell, right? Because we're getting married, we'll so take let's it. do it. You know, it's pretty. I think it's, it's an absolutely warm. exquisite ring. My baby don't care for rings or other expensive things. My baby just cares for me. My baby don't go for big Rolls Royces. There's sometimes a doubt about her choices. My baby don't care to own some 14 carat stone. She's sensible as can be. My baby don't care who knows it. My baby just cares for me. He's so happy since the day he fell in love in a great big way. And the big surprise is someone loves him too. It's difficult for us to see just what she could possibly see in me. But it simply goes to prove what love can do. His baby don't care for shows. His baby don't care for clothes. My baby just cares for me. Nobody else will do. His baby don't care for birds and places. His baby don't care for going to the races or high tone places. My baby's not much for sports, like running round tennis courts. I must say I'm glad that she has made such a fine selection. My baby just cares for me.
baby just cares for me. His baby just, his baby just, my baby just cares for me. Mrs. Holden Spence. Skylar Spence. I love the sound of that. You know he's taking her to Le Cirque for dinner tonight. He's taking her to Le Cirque? No kidding. He's gonna All right, right. Okay. Okay. Listen, I don't want to blow my own horn here, but I'm the one who yeah. introduced, introduced them. Introduced them. We've heard it, Dad. I did. I did. He came to work at our law firm, and as soon, the first day he was there, I said, this kid is great. His feet are on the ground. He's perfect for her. Frida, the pasta has no sauce. It's Bavarian pasta. It doesn't need any sauce. Italian pasta needs sauce. The Italians were weak. Oh, okay, fine. Just give me some pepper. I cannot right? understand you. Uh, Your solution no. to rampant crime is just to let criminals go free? No, Josh. What? What is this? Are you kidding me? You want somebody like this out on the streets? What? He's a, what, what? Wait, armed Scott, robbery, now. assault, assault with Scott. a deadly weapon, attempted he escape. He was an abused child. Yeah, oh. He went to prison his whole entire life because he had a horrible childhood, which is something you know nothing about. And then one mistake after the other. One mistake. Yes, and then what happens? Judges, it leads too. to bad corrupt trial. Corrupt corrupt. I don't want to discuss oh, this. I, I can't listen to any of this. I need my wallet. Where are you going? Up to the polo ground. No, no, no. Josh, the Cardinals are having a no, double No, no, Pop, you, you can't go out. If you want to take a walk, you got to go with Frida. Good but they're playing Father. today. This is Labor Day, you know. Yeah. It's June, Grandpa. It's June. Yeah, the polo grounds have closed uh, years Frida, ago. Frida, rained out. Just take them for a short walk. Get some okay? fresh air, Grandpa. Oh, no, I'm not I'm going, going with walk, Frida. Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa, no, I no, no. If you go with Frida, they will find us. I'm not going with Frida, Grandpa. Okay, take a nice walk. You know what the kids tell me? They think that Holden is going to give a little surprise to Skylar tonight. Yeah, well, if you keep gossiping about it, there's going to be no well, little surprise about it. Honey, please, I'm going out. Have a nice time. When he calls, tell her I went to the polo ground. Come on, just go. He's been dead for 20 years, dreaming again. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying if she calls, I'll be home later. Okay, just say it. You know, 21 is too young to get married, but if, if, um, if this was I anybody but Holden, oh, I'd be oh, against yeah, it. Well, well, there's no way I'm straight. getting married till I'm 35 and I've lived, and then I'll probably move in with a woman. Oh, why do you make these jokes? You like Holden, right? Oh, I like Yeah, yeah, look, I mean, the problem isn't Holden, it's Skylar. She's a romantic twin. Yeah, you know her problem with Holden is he's not romantic. So what? So what? Oh, she's, exactly. she's gonna marry him, right? I hope so. I want her room when she does. No, I'm oh, serious. I mean, I think there's no... I don't see any reason why she shouldn't Skylar suffers from white night syndrome uh, ever since her hormones kicked in all right i mean she's she's been waiting for some i don't know charismatic oh, figure to come and sweep okay, her okay okay so feet. so holden is that young lock and bar right he's that young schnook yeah he's a schnook but he's a lovable schnook and he's wonderful God, what an and endorsement you. i'm never bringing a guy home no i, I would be in the first place you not a schnook you know he wasn't a oh, I've been thinking, can I tell you how I, how I see us? How? <laughs> well, we get married. And we, we live near my parents and Sharon. Oh, I could never leave New York. We leave my parents and Sharon, right? We live in New York, of course. It's just, at some point, you know, we may want a little more space if we have four kids. I want two children. Two kids? Is, two is perfect. Two is, two is perfect for me. Because, you know, four is really a lot. And, <clears throat> you know, you'll be able to stay at home with them and... No, I'll be working. 
I mean, when not working full time, of, of course you're gonna have a full career, journalism. Architecture. <sighs> Architecture? Since when? I don't know, it's just some thoughts I've had. Thoughts you've been, you, I mean, you majored in journalism, but <clears throat> the point is, the important thing is I think we agree with each other on just about everything, mm -hmm. it seems. Mm -hmm. Shall I bring the dessert, sir? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's time for dessert. Yes, it is. Will you excuse me for one second? I'll just attend to a small matter. It's ready just as you wish, Mr. Spence. You, gonna, you think it's going to work? There we are, sir. Oh, look, at that, that's perfect. Oh, perfect, I'm glad you Umberto. Like it, sir. Let me show you my end of the deal. Oh. That's a honey, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's back it's a, a little bit. I don't I'm sure. It's, it's a brilliant idea, if I may say so, sir. Yeah. It's very romantic. Yes, well, that's the kind of guy I am. Oh, Umberto. I can see that. I'm just going to lay that right mm. there. Is that going to knock your socks off? Yes, sir. <laughs> I think well, so. Shall we? Baby, I'm relying on you, Umberto. Good luck, sir. Is everything OK? All taken care of. Shall we order dessert? I took the liberty. You did. I know you like a take charge kind of guy, and I'm coming through for you. Oh, it's not like you. <gasps> Anything for you, Umberto. Parfait. Please. Certainly, sir. Yeah. To be honest. Oh. Mm. Oh, my God, it's delicious. And peach, my favorite flavor. It's delicious. What are you doing? Peach what are you favorite. Stop it. What are you doing? Where's the rest of the dessert? What do you mean? Where the whipped cream and the cherry usually are. I ate it. You ate the ring? What ring? Honey, I bought you a diamond ring. You did? I went to Harry Winston's. Well, where it's is nice. it? I put it in the parfait. Why? I thought it would be romantic. You thought it would be romantic to put a ring on ice cream? Hey, this was not my idea. This was DJ's idea. DJ? She said it would give it dramatic flair. I don't believe this. I need a diamond ring. Well, I turned around for two seconds, and there's $8,000 going down your throat. I don't I believe... swallowed it. Oh, my God. Take it easy. Take it easy. Stay oh calm. Oh, my God. How Stay big calm. was it? It was tasteful. Believe me, it was I a big a rock. What? A carrot, too? It was a carrot like and a half. Carrots, I'm really. dying. No, you li You're not dying. You're something not... wrong, sir. She's... She just swallowed a little jewelry. It's all right. How Enjoy your you? dinner. How could I, sweetheart? Most people look at their food before they plunge into it. Let me check your mouth. I don't think this is going to present much of a problem. As you see, it's lodged in an accessible place. It's an absolutely beautiful ring. A solitaire, a classic, a brilliant choice. Thanks. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, girl. It is beautiful. Katie! Katie, look! She got engaged. So, uh, what is it, about two carrots? No, carrot and a half. Oh, white gold? No, it's solid oh, platinum. Solid yeah. platinum? Yeah. Oh, Harry oh. Winston's. Well, what'd you pay? 8000 8000 I can get this same ring for you for six for my brother-in-law. Oh, I am so happy for you. He is a wonderful man. Yeah. Am I gonna scar? Doctors look at x-rays, but they seldom grin. I am always on the outside looking in. Maybe that is why I see the funny side When I see a fallen brother take a bride Weddings make a lot of people sad But if you're not the groom You're not so bad Another bride, another groom Another sunny honeymoon Another season, another reason for making whoopee. A lot of shoes, a lot of rice. The room is nervous, he answers twice. It's really killing that he's so willing to make whoopee. Picture a little love nest down with Picture the same sweet love nest Think what a year can bring He's washing dishes and baby clothes He's so ambitious, he even so But don't forget, folks, that's what you get, folks For making whoopee, just for making whoopee
Summer came and Lane and Laura got jobs at the Metropolitan Museum and spent weekends at the beach. Mom put together a group of artists and writers to petition for the parole of Charles Ferry, her new pet cause. She even visited the prison and was just appalled by the conditions. What we need are open prisons, space, space where the damaged human spirit can heal. I say give them an opportunity to participate in decorating their own cells with their own personal decorators and better cuisine. European menus. As for me, well, you know, over the years I was used to splitting summers up. July with Mom in New York and August with Dad in Europe. Usually it was Paris, but this time he took me to Venice. Well, I think he still wanted to get over memories of Giselle dumping him. Well, all I can say is, if we're gonna talk about romantic cities, I mean, they've got the most gorgeous guys there, and they can't keep their hands off you. It's great. The whole first week was just heaven for me. I mean, I was just having a ball, sailing around on gondolas. But Dad, he just seemed to hang around the hotel. Giselle was still haunting him. I'm through with love, I'll never forget. Said adieu to love, don't ever call again. For I must have you. I just feel so guilty. I mean, I'm having all the luck. You should have fun, you know. I, 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 I still can't figure out what went wrong with Giselle. You know, at some... No, I always thought she was a little flighty. A little flighty, yeah. You want a drink? I'm gonna have a beer, I think. Yeah, Bellini? You know, let me give you this advice. In mm -hmm. life, when a relationship breaks up that you're in, I hope they don't, um, it's better to be the lever than the levy. Because the lever leaves, you know what I mean? But the levy is left. And it's terrible. The, you know, the, the worst that happens to the, the lever is a little survivor guilt. And survivor guilt is the worst thing that should ever happen to you. you yeah. know, uh, well, tomorrow I'll spend with you. Tomorrow? It's not necessary, really. Oh, oh, okay. oh don't, don't turn around. That's, that's the couple. Don't turn around. Who? I told you about her. She, gee, I watched her check in the other day. She's really lovely, but I, I think married. Isn't she? Isn't oh, she? my God. She's beautiful, right? I know she is. You're kidding. No. Why did I think of it? She's perfect for you. Perfect? How can she be perfect for me? She's married. No, she's not happily married. You'd love her. Well, tell me, who, who is she? I mean, what, how do you know her? Oh, my friend's mother's her shrink. I know everything about her. You're kidding. What's her name? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What's wrong with <laughs> you? Stop teasing me. What? I'm serious. Who is she? Tell she's me an about art her. historian, and she's here to see the Tintorettos. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? You get this that look perfect. on your face. <laughs> she jogs every morning alone. Yeah. You yeah. could go and bump into her and meet her. No, thank you. She's a married woman. I'm telling you, she's not happily married. Mm -hmm. Complete mismatch. The guy is some actor. Anyway, it won't interfere tomorrow because he sleeps late. So you'll have no problem. You can meet her. She'll definitely be alone. I know this for a fact. It's perfect. Uh I'm out of shape. I can't jog. I can't do it. You know, I, I haven't touched my treadmill in weeks. 572 weeks. That's 11 years. I, I, I wheeze. I just stop no. looking at me like that. I'm not going to do We're going to get you some jogging clothes she tomorrow is, morning. She is really so something. You're going to jog. <laughs>
Are you okay? Yes. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. You don't happen to know which way the gritty is, do you? Uh, I think it's back that way. Over there? Because, yeah. you know, jockeying in Venice, uh, everything is so... Mm, Labyrinthine. Labyrinthine. Yes. Uh, you okay? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, you you, you, you got to keep in shape. I, I jog every day. You? Yes, I do. Yeah, you're an American? I, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great country, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. The, the, the mountains and the prairies. Oh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, America. The oceans, yeah. you know, white with foam and everything. So... <gasps> Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. No, I'm okay. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. Mm, just, I have a pain in my chest that's radiating down my arm. But that's your heart. From, uh, no, in my case, it's stress. I get it every other day. Okay. It's. Bree? What is your name? Oh. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Come on. I was just giving him directions. You okay? Okay, come on. You said you want to do three miles. Come on. Okay. You okay? Yes, just I'm fine. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, let's just... First, I nearly dropped dead. I couldn't breathe. Then her husband showed up. Her husband did come, huh? That's rare. Rare? So is a coronary thrombosis in our family. Oh, did you get her name? Von. Von. Vani. Listen, she's passionate about Tintoretto. She's working on a book about it. Obviously, she's here to visit the Scuola Grande di San Rocco. So, I, I don't know what all this means. What are all these art books? She'll be at the Scuola. He won't. They have nothing in common. You bump into her again. Now the groundwork's been laid, you say, hello. Didn't we meet Jagging? Oh, yeah, I was the guy who had the sudden stroke. She then, didn't remember that. you impress her with your knowledge of her favorite painter. Hey, you gotta be kidding. My, my, my knowledge of art is limited to Kirk Douglas's Vincent Van Gogh. You know, what the hell do I know about this? Trust me, Dad. Before we leave Venice, your lips will be pressed to hers. Yes? Unfortunately, I left my chapstick in New York. What is this? The rapidity of his brush strokes, chiaroscuro, outbursts of color. I told Dad everything I knew about Vaughn, and he studied his Tintoretto book. And I told him her likes, her dislikes, her deepest feelings, everything from her passion for Bora Bora and Mahler's Fourth Symphony to her favorite flower, the African daisy. I mean, it was everything. When he showed up at the Tintoretto Museum that afternoon, he could have given a course on the subject. Hello again. Hi. Goodness. You lived. How are you? I was concerned. Oh, no, no, I was fine. I, I you know, I, I just went back to the hotel before and had the, the concierge oil my pacemaker. And, you know, I, I, incidentally, my name is Joe Berlin. Oh. I, I, I... Vonnie Seidel. Yeah, it's a funny coincidence. I see you here. I, I, you know, two New Yorkers jockeying in Venice, and we bump into each other. It's a... How did you know I was a New Yorker? <laughs> no, I didn't. I, but but, but I, I just, you know, I, like I assumed that, you know, but then you're completely correct to ask that question. I, it's a, you know, it's a good question. You should not be ashamed of it. <laughs> well, uh, I live on 84th and Riverside. Where in New York do you live? In Paris. I, I, well, I, well, I, mean, I was in New York, but, but I, now I settled in Paris. But, I, you know, I come back to New York all the time, because I, I love it there. Yeah. What brings you here? Oh, I wouldn't think of being in Venice without checking out the Tintoretto's, because he was, he's my favorite master in the world. I mean, I just adore his work. I'm crazy about it. He was a very deep genius. <clears throat> The deepest, I, I, the, the, the rapidity of his, of his brushwork, the, the chiaroscuro outbursts of color, the, his capacity for controlled gesture, <clears throat> born in 1519 only to die again in 1594, but that's the way it happens to most of so us. So you have a real appreciation of his work? Could I not have an appreciation of a man who was short in stature, but with a proud and <clears throat> obstinate nature, who painted outside the the academic convention of 16th century Venice? <laughs> what do you do, Mr. Berlin? <clears throat> uh, you can call me Joe. Joe. I'm, 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 I'm a, a writer. Novels, mostly. Joe Berlin. I saw one of your books. I did. I remember it had a very uh, sexy cover. It was at the, the stalls on Fifth Avenue, the 99 cent bin. Oh, well, you know, they're probably to <clears throat> get acquainted price. Oh. They'll do that sometimes. I, I, you see, in, in the United States, I'm considered controversial. But in, in Paris, you know, where they have an ear for literature, I, you know, they, they were quick to recognize the genius of, of uh, Poe and Faulkner and <clears throat> myself. Well, well, 
basically, you see, I'm <clears throat> a simple guy. My idea is just to live in Paris and maybe, you know, fall in love and and take walks uh, in, in the rain and, and uh, listen to music, like uh, particularly maybe Mahler's Fourth. This could be me talking. Mahler's could Fourth it? destroys me. Ah, yes, Mahler's Fourth, no question. I, I See, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, what you'd call a, 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 a technology guy. I hate technology. I know. I could tell by looking at you. I, 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 uh, I'm, I'm, I still work on, on, on one of those old-fashioned antique portable typewriters that, that... Are you telling me you haven't succumbed to the cerebral computer age? <sighs> You know, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I like the simple life. I, I like to sit in my room in Paris and write, maybe visit New York a certain amount, and in the summertime, <clears throat> maybe spend some time someplace romantic like um, Bora Bora. I, I, I love Bora Bora. Since the first time I went there, I can't get it out of my mind. Well, naturally, you know, it's, it's beautiful. At night, the stars are so luminous, you can practically read, read by it. Read by. Are you okay? You got a little, little mist appeared in your eye then. I thought you were gonna cry, I swear. I thought you were gonna cry. No, I'm, I, I, I'm okay. Are you sure? Is, is something wrong? No, um... What's wrong? Are you nothing's okay? Nothing's wrong. Something so exactly right. Yes? Yeah. Wait here one second. I'll be right back. Get your present. An African daisy. This is my favorite. You know, what are you doing tonight? I think Greg and I have plans. Hey, how'd it go? She was great. Absolutely great. Whatever you told me was right on the money. It was perfect. I feel guilty. Why? Why? Because, you know, I, I made her cry. She said that she felt close to me. So, you established a beachhead, now you go on and win the battle. Oh, don't forget to blow on her back, between her shoulder blades. It makes her crazy. Hey, I'm not going to do that. What's, what goes on between her and her shrink is private. I, you know, I'm, what are you going to do? Give me a map of her erogenous zones? Dad, are you seeing her tonight? No, she's married. Listen, I'm not that guy. I don't know Bora Bora from Walla Walla, you know. What the hell do I know about Tintoretto? I, I can't tell the difference between his chiaroscuro and his segreto sauce. You know, this is... Don't forget to blow between her shoulder blades. I'm not going to blow between her shoulder blades, you know. Plus, I use a word processor, not a typewriter. Oh, uh, I hope you have something great to wear tonight, because we're going to a party. A party? I, I want to introduce you to someone. This is Alberto. Hi, how are you? Who are all these people? This is uh, uh, Venetians. <laughs> Friends, guests in town. Yes. Did you enjoy your staying in Venice? Uh, fabulous. That's the best. Absolutely the best. Okay. Dad, I, I wanted you to meet Alberto because I think you should be the first to know. We're getting married. It's wonderful. Let me know what century. I'll rent a tux. It'll be perfect. This January. Pardon me? This January. This January? <laughs> You're joking, of course. I mean, I'm in love with Juna. We all love this little girl because she's adorable. But, but you are, you are, this is a jest. It is January 15th, to be exact. It's his mother's birthday. A joke, a jest, right? Am I right? <laughs> Not at all. 
Excuse, excuse me one second. Come, I just want to talk to you for a minute. Just come over here. Just for a second. Come right in here just for a minute. What are you talking about? Look, tell me this is a joke because otherwise it's going to be carnage. We're crazy about each other. How can you be crazy? We met this guy five days ago or something. So? What do you mean, so? Are you having a break? Why? Now? Because I'm in love? What do you mean you're in love? What? With, with, with what? What does he do? He's How a gondolier. Uh, no, thank you. He's one of those guys with the striped shirt and the hat? No hat. What do you mean, no hat? What he is that? He doesn't wear a hat. Uh, this is crazy. What do you, you know, you, you talk to me. What are you, are you gonna, you, you're talking about getting married with him? Yeah. That's insanity. Why is it insanity? Because you have to go to school. You're gonna go back to Columbia. You're gonna, you're gonna no. major in journalism or law, you know, not, not rowing. You know, people this is... have dropped out of Columbia before. It's been done. You are not going to run off with a guy who's you just met after one week and who's a gondolier. He's a poet. He's a poet? Well, let me tell you what rhymes with gondolier. No lira, okay? So forget it. Hi. Hi, hello again. My God, what a coincidence. This is uh, Joe, Greg. Hi, how are you? Would you, uh, you were running this morning without no, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's have you seen Bernardo Bertolucci? Is he here? I, I wouldn't recognize him. I, I have it's to a madhouse. Man. I just, uh, do you mind if I go out if you want to talk? Sure. Do you mind? It's, okay. it's, it's an absolute I'll, I'll get you a drink. Okay. Is it's it, incredible. Is it? I mean, have you seen this place? I was just going home. It's it's unbelievable. You know, they, they have a, the whole thing is like, it's an old oh, wow. palazzo. Wow. And it's really, really beautiful. But you know, frantic in there. <laughs> hey, you look great. Oh, I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Why? <laughs> I don't know, I can't take a compliment. Oh, you look terrific. Well, you know, why not? I'm sorry. I, I, I... No, it's my problem. <laughs> Why, does it make, make you feel guilty? Uh, maybe, I don't know. You seem to have all the answers, don't you? No, I mean, I, I think it makes you feel guilty. I think that you must have fantasies of maybe somebody coming along and you probably have dreams about boats or ships, maybe, or or, or maybe even uh, you know, like an elevator that that you're on an elevator and it goes higher and higher to the top floor, and then it doesn't stop at the top; it just goes right through the roof, and it just sort of flies you over the ocean. I think I'm gonna faint. I do. Are you okay? Uh, uh, no, I'm... Um, I'm a little uh, overwhelmed, and... I'm glad you're leaving tomorrow. morning, we left Venice. Dad made a flight to Paris, and I went to New York. I couldn't wait to tell Mom about marrying Alberto. It was so beautiful, so sensitive. My plan was to drop out of Colombia after the fall term and move to Italy. Hey, excuse me, that's mine. No, it's... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It's... Oh, God, I'm sorry, it's not mine. It's okay, we both like shopping at the That's Honeywell. why I got it. Oh, God, okay. no, I know it's small. It's all right. I'll give you a hand. Thanks. Um, your bra. <laughs> Thank you. Underwear. <laughs> Petrarch, sonnets. What do you do? Um, depends who the guy is. No, just kidding. Um, I, I actually, because I, uh, I work for the Colombian drug cartel. Yeah, I, yeah, I gift wrap the cocaine. Mm -hmm. Why am I so nervous? I'm, I'm a student at Columbia. Oh, is that right? My uncle teaches there. No. Yeah, math department. I'm... Uh, Ken, Risley? Jennifer Lynn. Did I really want to spend my life making pasta and riding around in gondolas? To tell you the truth, those canals are awfully polluted. I mean, Alberto was cute, but Ken was... hot. Cuddle up a little closer, lovey mine. Cuddle up and be my little dream of mine. A 
like to feel your cheeks so rosy like to make you comfy cozy cause i love from head to toesy love While I'd been away, an awful lot had happened. Mom bought Skylar a drop-dead wedding dress. And Holden's father and my stepdad became friends. They discovered a common interest, horse racing. So they chipped in and bought a thoroughbred. And Lane and Laura had a great time at the beach. But one hot summer weekend, with everyone else in New York away, they found themselves in town. So we're probably the only ones left in the city this weekend. We usually go to Southampton, but um, this weekend we have tickets to a show. I, I love the city when it's empty. Me too. Me too. To make a long story short, they've all become close. His name, if you can believe it, is Jeffrey Vandermost. And he's heir to the Vandermost millions. Well, meanwhile, they're both in love with him, and one of them's heading for a broken heart. Fall is particularly beautiful this year. I think I like it even better than spring. And with October comes Mom's birthday. This year, we invited Holden's parents over to celebrate. But just before they arrived, we had an unexpected visitor. This is a gorgeous color. Yes. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Oh, oh, thank you. These are from your ex-husband, oh, my biological oh, Joe. father. Oh, Joe. Oh, you know what that is? That's caviar. Oh, that's <laughs> Could you put this on ice, honey? Nothing like stuff. Are you eggs. expecting Mr. Ferry? I am, yes. What? what? Charles Well, Charles? he just He's got out of prison. Come on, he has no family. I figured, you oh, know, we'd let him know. He's join our family. friends. You're what? You're letting a criminal come into this house? Wait, he has paid his debts to society, Scott. He Don't has not start. paid his debt. I want to hear this. No. Society forgave him his debt. He did not pay his debt to society. How did I wind up with a kid on the other end of the political know. spectrum? Right. What? I mean, where did I fail? You didn't fail, Dad. If I was you, I'd start hiding the silverware. Don't be rude, Scott. He's not coming over for just a drink. You guys have everything. Mr. Ferry, hi. I'm, I'm Bob Dandridge. This is my wife, Steffi. Hello, Mr. Ferry. Welcome nice to our home. Nice to Welcome. And I'd like you to meet my daughter, Skylar. Hello. Yes, this nice is Skylar and her fiance, Holden. And my... I'm, I'm the fiance. Uh, can I get you something to drink? Nobody gets behind me. <laughs> right, like okay, the... sure. Uh, can I get you something uh, to drink? Um, uh... Yeah, vodka. Right, uh, uh, maybe uh, on the, uh, or, or, or maybe just, just, right just... Here. I'll, I'll get you on the straight Honey, Mr. Per Mr. Ferry, uh, sorry. Uh, he, he's, you know, been living among such as killers. Yeah, for, you said it. No wonder he's skittish. A lot of times a guy will come up behind you and swish. Mm -hmm. Swish? Yeah, yeah you, gotta get, you gotta get your blade out quick. You stick it in him and you're dead. Have you stuck a lot of uh, other inmates, Mr. Ferry? Enough. Honey, the, 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 that's the, enough for me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. How many is that? Pardon me. How is that? Is that good? Would you oh, like to have another? He's really hot. Hi. Hello. Hi, Ryan. Oh, how are you? Good oh, it's okay. Hi, Arnold. 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 I have someone I want you to meet, Mr. Ferry. Mr. Ferry. I'd like you to meet Mr. Ferry. This is my good friend, Lynn. And this is Arnold. Arnold is my friend. I must say. Yes, I'm aware. Yeah, you know, lucky the parole came through, but I was going to get out one way or the other. Um, anyway. ex excuse me, what exactly does that mean? Well, ice the guard. No pictures, sister. I'm sorry. Ice, ice, ice the, the guard? guard. What do you yeah. mean, ice the guard? Get out through the ventilation shaft. Ice, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, come up behind him with a box cutter. Rip out his carotid artery. Oh. <laughs> I have a glass of white wine. Yeah, I have, sure. we have, we have white wine. wine. Yeah. you got to be careful, though. 
Guy on cell block four tried. He didn't have all the angles figured. Got his tit caught in the room. His tit? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Let's, let's, yeah, oh, uh, terrace. let's go up to the terrace. Good idea. Big spaces. Are you sure this guy is rehabilitated? Honey, he was in prison, not a finishing school. Well, you know my sentiments, but very happy birthday. A birthday song for Steffi. Looking at you while troubles are fleeing, I'm admiring the view. Cause it's you I'm seeing and the sweet honeydew of well-being settles upon me. What is this light that shines when you enter like a star in the night? And what's to prevent her from destroying my sight If you center all of it on me Looking at you, I'm filled with the essence of The quintessence of joy Looking at you, I hear poets telling of Lovely Helen of Troy Life seems so gray. I've wanted to end it till that wonderful day. You started to mend it, and if you'll only stay, then I'll spend it looking at you. Sweetie. Oh. Okay, honey. Yeah, I'm gonna grab us a few drinks. You want anything? No, thanks. Right, but before yes, you do, would you run out and get Steffi's present for me? I left it in the car. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold it. Thanks. Here. Are you enjoying the view? Well, like any of you, after years and years in that stinking rat hole. Oh, that's very vividly put. Sweetly honest. You know what it's like in solitary confinement? No, I can't say that I do. I went to NYU. It's a great school. I didn't even stay you know in the dorm. Why it is since I smell perfume. Oh, do I have too much on? Well, to me, you smell like what I think heaven would smell like. Oh, well, thank you. It's really nice. When you shook my hand before, I thought my heart was going to stop. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> uh, but remember, you've been very deprived of female contact. I used to lie in my cell at night and dream of somebody like you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I took um, a criminology class at college. A very insu... Not very sensual lips. Oh, oh, well, it's a part of me I rarely think of. Can I smell your hair? You want to smell my hair? Okay. You know what? It, it's going to be all gone soon. I was thinking of cutting it. I think Holden might like it short. You know what I would do if you were my girl? Mm, it's a little chilly outside. Maybe oh, I my go girl, I would make love to you in every room in the house. On every bed. On every rug. On every tabletop. We also have some lovely early American chandeliers. Let's go for a drive. Um, no. <laughs> I don't think that that would be such a good idea. I haven't seen the ocean. I've been up the hall in Chinatown in years. Oh, no, it's out of the question. Okay, but you can't blame me for trying. No. I think that we should get back inside before... Before what? Before you break your parole. If I took you in my arms and kissed you right now, would you dime on me? Dime? Turn me in. Oh, let's not find out. Very interesting. I've never been kissed by a sociopath before. I kissed you the best I could. Considering the only practice I had kissed in the last ten years is with Vincent the Tomodato. Jeez. 
Vincent the Thumb doesn't know what he's missing. Can I see you again? Well, you know I'm getting married. I could show the world how to smile. I could be glad all of the while. I could change the gray skies to blue if I had you. I could leave the old days behind, leave all my pals I never mind. I could start my life all alone if I had you. I could climb the snow-capped mountains, sail the mighty ocean wide. I could cross the burning desert. If I had you by my side I could be a king near on crown Humble or poor, rich or renowned There is nothing I couldn't do If I had you Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. He's en route to New York now, and he's wonderful. It's been like a chance meeting after all these years with a true soulmate. You know, he senses my every need. It's like he knows what I'm thinking. It's like your fantasy come true. It, it, it is. I, I, I still can't believe it. You know, it's, it's not that he's tall or handsome, but he's... um. He's magical, you know, and, and he feels me in a way that no man ever has before. It's, he's romantic and he's sexy and I had this dream that I was in bed with him and he was kissing my earlobes and then he started stroking my shoulder blades and I nearly had an orgasm. I had lots of neat stuff to tell Dad. Well, he had really made a big score with Vaughn. But now I've got to stop for a minute. Because as much as we humans like to think we control things, that's not the way it works. Suddenly, with no warning, Grandpa died. It was in his sleep, peaceful, with no suffering, but it made philosophers of all of us. When your number is up, your number is up. That's why it's very important that we, that we cherish each moment, each moment of our lives. And not smoke. Smoke? I mean, he... Uh, Pop smoked for 70 years, you know. Whoa. I mean, he, he never exercised. He ate everything. He ate cholesterol and, and, and fatty foods. And look at he died at a, at, a, at a healthy, ripe old age. I haven't had steak in so long. I love steak. It's it's disgusting. I'd kill a, for some marbleized meat. Why are you saying this? I would say six cups of coffee a day prevents, like, prevents colon cancer. Last week was bad for you. What's it all about? I mean, what What are we doing? We're rushing. Yeah. We're rushing. Uh, that's right. Where are we going? Into the void. That's it. The void is it, you know. Never... That's it. I never believed in God. Oh, I did. No, I didn't. Not even as a little kid. I used to I used to think I remember this. I used to think even if he exists, he's done such a terrible job. It's a wonder people Dad. don't don't you know get together and file a class action suit against. What are you talking about? There's got to be some reason we're here. It can't just be the new physics. Well, you got to believe in something. The dignity of man. The flat tax, the right to bear arms, and school right. prayer. Well, if yeah. there's nobody out there, then who are they stop. praying to? Oh, huh? Stop fighting. No, no, please no, don't. Wait, 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 please don't start arguing about? in front of Grandpa now, okay? I can't. He was. No, wait a minute. He wasn't an atheist. He wasn't a Republican. He wasn't even a Democrat. Well, Mom, he must have been something. He was a foot fetishist. It's the only group I remember him belonging to. It's true. You drove your mother crazy. No, she <coughs> Pop, is that you? I've got just one message for you. You work and work for years and years. You're always on the go. You 
you never take a minute off. Too busy making dough. Someday you say you'll have your fun when you're a millionaire. Imagine all the fun you'll have in your old rocking chair. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Enjoy yourself while you're still in the pink. The years go by as quickly as a wink. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, it's later than you think. Another birthday sharing on, you've turned another page. And suddenly you realize that you've reached middle age. Just think of all the fun you've missed, it makes you kind of sad. It's better to have had your wish than to have wished you had. Perfect. I, there was a moment in there when I, I, I stroked when I should have hickeyed, but, you know, I apologize. I feel, I feel limp. You know, I'd really love you to come to Paris with me. I'm serious. Yeah, Paris. And then Bora Bora. Well, well, yes, Bora Bora, but, but Paris first, and then we'd, we'd work our way down to at least <clears throat> one of the bars. We can, we can live in your garret. Uh, te technically, when I say Garrett, it, it, it's funny. It, it is a Garrett, and yet... And drink yet, wine and eat snails till the dawn. Snails? Yeah. Snails. Remember? You said how you also loved waking up in the middle of the snails. night, sitting in bed, snails. eating snails, yes, drinking yes. wine. Yeah, I said it was yes. such a great coincidence. Well, there are, there are, there are mollusks there. No, I, I, I love a good mollusk. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, the wedding is off? Exactly what I said. I gave back his ring. Why? Because there's someone else I can't get out of my mind. But you, you're in love with Holden. N no, Dad, I'm not. At least I'm not sure I am, and I can't just cheat on him while I can Cheat on it Holden? Out. He's going to be your husband. No, Dad. In November, I'll show you. I got receipts from the caterers. Bob, calm your denial mechanism. Dad, it's not that Holden isn't wonderful. It's just that somebody else has come into my life, and I must see where it goes. It wouldn't be fair to Holden if I oh, didn't. Oh, fine. Okay, so now that we bought you this fabulous new wedding dress, would you mind telling me who this new Prince Charming is that suddenly emerged? Well, uh, you don't know. I mean, you do, uh, but not like oh, I do. God, I'm sick. Oh, honey, I'm what's sick the matter? I think this is going water. into spasms. Look what you're doing to your father. Look what you're doing to your father. All right, now tell me, who has come between you and your and, and Holden? Uh, oh. Well, he, he's bright yeah. and, and charming and Good. rough to the outside. I've who is it? What, are you going to tell us, or is this like a game show? <clears throat> uh, you remember Charles Ferry? Pardon me? Charles Ferry. Oh, my God, for a minute I thought she said Charles Ferry. Now my esophagus is starting to move. Charles Ferry? Hi. The escaped convict? Skyler. Ex-convict. He has a college degree. No, 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 no. Skyler, let me tell you something. You're having a psychotic episode. No. You need help. You need shock Calm treatment. Down, there are the industrial strength Prozac. Mom, well, you understand. There is something incredibly animalistic about okay. him. Okay, well, we'll turn him over to the zoo. Oh, and honey. yet he's like a child. Yeah. Okay, why not? Go okay. make it the, the children's zoo. He's a criminal. Mom, I'm shocked. No, be quiet. You've done nothing but sing his praises for months. Well, yes. I mean, as a 
social symbol, but I mean, it's a, like an actual person to be with my child. How I are mean, you going to go out with this? I, you, you guys, can't, get out you of can't here. get behind you him. You won't let you. You try to scratch his this? back, he'll knife you. Under all that, Samira is a very soulful young attorney. In fact, I was hoping you might find a place for him in your firm. Good, I'll okay. make him treasurer. He can share a room with Holden. Tyler, speaking as a woman, Holden can be very animal too. Yes, yes. Mom, but it's of the gerbil family. Oh, that's not. At your get father, I get forbid you to oh, see this no. man, Charles Ferry. You will marry Holden as planned. As head of this house, I command it. I decree it. Thou shalt wed thy intended. Okay, come on. Let's That's go it. have, let's get a drink. You're sounding tiresomely biblical. Tiresomely biblical? What is this, Noel Coward with hockey? She's not gonna go waste her life oh, like this on a gangster. she's a grown woman. You! What? You! You got him out of jail. Oh, this is my <laughs> fault now? <laughs> oh, God, what, what, what's wrong? Jeffrey Vander wrote that lane out and not me. Oh, oh my God. How am I gonna face Arnold and Lynn Spence? Is that all you're thinking about? We bought a racehorse together. He's gonna wanna cut it in half. We both liked him. And today, he asked if we could talk alone, so I got all excited. And then, he asked me if I thought Lane would go out with him if he asked her to a dance in Connecticut. And then he had a bad crush on her. Oh, God. these things happen. I mean, you know, feelings are feelings. And, and I'm through with love. I'll never fall again. What are you saying? You're 14 years old. You'll fall again. Oh, oh you guys, I am so sorry. I, I thought that you'd be happy for me. I hope in time you understand. I'm through with love. I'm what are you singing about? You're not in love with Holden, are you? I'm through with love, I'll never fall again. Said I do to love, don't ever call again. Incidentally, while Skylar was breaking up with Holden, I broke up with Ken. Uh, you know, the guy I met at the airport. Because I met this rap singer, and I mean, this guy is just so talented and sexy, and you know, he just says it all. Check it, I'm through with love and through with all you motherfuckers. Yeah. Feeling mad shitty, gotta burn down the city, come take on. it over. For the brothers I'm raising, ruckus upon you suckers, gotta burn it up. Come on, blow it up, yeah. Your eyes are blue, your kisses too. I never knew what they could do. I, I can't, can't believe that you're in love with me. Love the country. Yeah, it smells so fresh. Um, Charles, where did you get the money to pay for everything and, and this car? Uh, I don't know. Loans. Oh, this is a great idea to take a walk here. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. What time is it? Um, four o'clock. Oh, good. I just thought you know, want to walk around a little, see the fall leaves. <laughs> they are stunning. Yeah, it's amazing what you're missing the joint. There's no seasons. It's one long drain, nothing. What are your plans for the future? I can't imagine that you want to work in the restaurant forever. Ah, yeah, right. Work your tail off all day for what? A few lousy bucks, and I got bigger plans than that. Like pursuing a law career. What? A lawyer? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 sure. You hear something? A bird? All right, here they come. Timing's perfect. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Hold up my ass, I'm going. <laughs> Back in action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where'd it go, Ferry? Got anything lined up? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, it's just a friend. <laughs> Shut her up!
October, Vaughn finally got up the nerve and left Greg. She bought a ticket on Air France and just took the first plane to Paris. By this time, Dad had given up his flat on the left bank and moved into a place he knew would be straight out of Vaughn's fantasy of a Parisian apartment. Well, in addition to taking guitar lessons, he traded in his word processor for an old portable typewriter. Hi. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. God, look at your place. This is out of a movie, or, or, or out of a dream. This is like my dream. This is my dream apartment, my dream view, right here. Back in New York, it was Halloween. That's my favorite holiday. I mean, with all the kids in the building come trick-or-treating, and they all just look so great. I, I brought you something. I brought you Cracker Jacks. Holden was so much in love with my sister that it didn't mean a thing that she had given him a hard time. And Mom and Dad were so glad to see them reunited. You see, he gave her back the diamond ring, only he wanted to be romantic, so he put it in a box of Cracker Jacks and she swallowed it again. <coughs> the rest of fall was pretty normal for us. The only glitch we had was on Thanksgiving, just after dinner. Scott suddenly collapsed. Everybody panicked. There's nothing to be alarmed about. There was blockage in an artery, but it's all been dissolved, so he's fine. He's totally fine. There's no problem. Oh, oh no, no, 100%. Uh, our scan indicated that the condition occurred some time ago, perhaps a year. So if he's exhibited any kind of, like, strange or, or weird behavior, it's probably because his brain wasn't getting enough oxygen. And wouldn't you know it, as soon as his brain started functioning properly, Scott resigned from the young conservative Republican club and started espousing left-wing democratic liberal philosophy. Dad was overjoyed. He was just as proud as can be. Remember I told you New York was the most beautiful in the fall? Well, what I really meant was the winter. I mean, at least when it snows, because under a blanket of snow, I mean, New York City is truly gorgeous and, and surprisingly peaceful. You know, when Christmas comes, we don't, you know, we're not the kind of family that hangs stockings or sings carols. We don't, like, have a goose or anything. What we do do is we head right for Paris and we spend our Christmas holiday at the Ritz. <laughs>
Well, it has a fever. <laughs> it's a cold. I told you, you should have come home and put on some dry no, clothes okay, after you fell right. in the You go without me. I'll no, be all right tomorrow. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah, we don't want to go without you. The Marx Brothers are your favorite movies. Mom, I feel I, so I'm hot. Honey, I know. I just need to get some sleep. I'm, I'm so fine. excited. I'm meeting this guy named Gear, this gee named guy. Oh, congratulations, Dad. I'm going to get It's not going to keep me awake, is it? No, no, it's completely herbal. It's peppermint flavor. It's a Hello, Joe. 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 Hi, Joe. Dad. Hey. Oh, hey, I'd say hello, but I'm, you know, I'm sick, and you, you always catch everything. What happened? What's I'm not going tonight. What? I knew it. So I knew it. Vaughn left me. Oh, uh, what happened? Well, I have no idea what happened, but she's on her way back to New York now. You know, she when we when she first came, everything was perfect. She said it was like, you know, like a dream had come true for her, and then suddenly. This morning, um, I want to go back home to Greg. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's wrong. With since me. when? Since when is uh, did this happen? I don't know. Well, why? I, I, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Exactly. Well, just tell me. You just you know just. Well, it's not that I don't think that you're great, okay? I, mean, I think you're great. Yeah. Um, just for years, you know, I've been married to Greg, and, and he can be difficult, and we've had our ups and downs, certainly. Since when did you have him? I don't know. It's just I, I've always had this fantasy, okay, that... Um, that one day I would meet the perfect man and he would fulfill my dreams and I would have a perfect life. And th that fantasy, I think, always sort of um, was part of this dissatisfaction that I had with Greg and, and my life. And then you came along and you seemed to know every secret thing about me. Well, let me put it this way. I have seen my dream come true, and my fantasy no longer tortures me. I can deal with it. Yeah, but that's so neurotic. Well, I know. I'm crazy. Well, but supposing I said to you that, that none of this was really true, that, that this is all a facade that, that I've been putting on, that, that that, that somehow I had, you know, access to your deepest feelings and your needs and all your secret thoughts, and, and I've, been, I've been playing this character just to, just to win you over, to get you to like me, make you happy. If that's what you told me, then I'd say you were crazy. So that's exactly why I'm not going tonight, you know? Instead, I, I have plans to go to Napoleon's tomb. I'm gonna lie down next to him. Oh, that could be it for Christmas Eve oh, for me. Sad. Oh, the on. women you pick. No, 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 you're going out. I'm so <laughs> sorry to take Mom. Oh, he's you mean, so take me. you, sick. You're too sick to yep. go out this year? No, I'm fine, I'm fine, as long as I don't move my eyeball. He has 101 temperature, you're not going anywhere I'm not tonight. in a groucho mood. You, no, oh, come, come on, on you'll Joe. love it, It's go. Christmas Eve, it's Paris, there's a ball. And besides, you're on the committee that arranged you your dinner party for the Cinematheque. You have to go. And enjoy yourself. I gotta stay here, but there's no reason you don't go. It's later than you think.
gelé pour de banane. Hourré, hourré, hourra. Craquant dans le lion, il tira plusieurs coups de son mousquet. Je n'ai trouvé qu'en moustiquet. That was, that was when I knew that someday I would absolutely have to live here. Mm, I remember it like it was yesterday. I don't want to panic. That was decades ago. I mean, decades. I not, know. Not... I know. It was decades ago. Do you remember that that cafe we used to go to? That cafe Therese or whatever with the cats. Do you remember? Do you remember? Now I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah. I hated that cat. I oh. mean, I, I. I hate him. Oh, well, maybe that's why you were scratching yourself all night. Oh, was I scratching myself all night? Yeah. Is, that, is that what you noticed about I me? Certainly, I certainly did. Well, I hated that cat. <laughs> I just want to tell you, and I couldn't stand it. But now, that cafe is right around the corner from where I live. You're joking. Why would I joke about something like that? You want to go? Do you want to go have a drink there? No. Why not? Because we're drinking here. What well, yeah, but... Look, we can take our mustaches off. Nobody's what, gonna know. What, you having a nostalgic, uh, sudden... Yeah, I'm having a thing. I mean, why, sue fight? me. I just thought it would be kind of fun. No, can, we can't oh, sneak Oh, come out on, we'll take one. our mustaches off. No problem. That I'd like to do. What, wouldn't you? Me too. And I then never we'll... thought I'd hear you say, take my mustache off. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll go. I'm, I'm a little... I feel good. How many... I've had three glasses of champagne. I feel fabulous. Wow. Let's go see this place. <laughs> huh? You really want to sneak? Out? I do. It's not. No, we snuck out before. Do you remember? Do you remember that party with the Hamilton Wainwrights we went to? It was so boring. Oh, yes, yes. I remember that because yeah. because we snuck out then through the toilet, right. the window, and the guy was singing Climb Every Mountain, and we, we couldn't <laughs> and you, bear it. And you we snuck knocked out. over the punch bowl, if I remember correctly. Yes, I knocked over the punch bowl, but you were the one that let out the piercing shriek that got us caught. Oh, and do you remember how we made love? Do you remember I'm, you know, oh, oh I dropped. You dropped your cigar. I know. I'm giving my cigar. Yeah. I, dro I dropped the You're cigar. Sure and I, <laughs> I remember us making love. I, you know, uh, yes. Candlelight. I remember the, the candles. candles. I, I remember the hotel. Room. I just don't remember you. I don't know why. Oh, Unless you were the one who was under me. Oh, now you're in character. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I, I'm, I'm Come on, lost. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hold that. Our coats on the car. Our coats. Forget it. It's a warm night. It's a warm night. Come on. Pretend you're young. Let's go. Well, I could for you. <laughs> you're better off without her. Yeah, I'm better off. How, how do you know if I'm better off without her? You, you know, you never met her. I know you. Yeah, so what does that mean? Yeah. Well, a good psychiatrist that, that listen to you would think that every time I get involved with a woman, you get jealous. <laughs> Jealous, Joe. I just wish you'd pick somebody that could make you happy. Like who? I made you happy. Yeah, I didn't say you didn't. I you made know. you very happy. I hope, hey. When we weren't, you know, at each other's throats. Does this ring a bell? This is why I took you here. <gasps> want... Does this does this mean anything to you? Is this is this where we? This is it. Yes, that's why I dragged <gasps> you all over town. Uh, oh my God! You remember this? This is where we stayed up all night. I know. Oh. I held you in my arms till, till the light came up. Oh. Do you remember that? Do you remember that song? Yeah, remember I do. song? Because I, I still yeah. sing that song. I, I first heard it from you. That was the first time. Remember? I'm through with love. I'll never fall again. Said a dear to love. Don't ever call again. For I must have you. Icy Frigidaire And I mean to care for no one Because 
Over the years, I often wondered what would have happened if we stayed together. That's something we're never going to know, you know. We managed to produce a fabulous daughter, though. I mean, she is unbelievable. She's got your your looks, fortunately, and my my magic personality. So. Yeah, she is wonderful. She's great. And, 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 and you've been very happy with Bob, so that's, oh, that's been a good wonderful. thing. I think he he's is. great. I don't think you could have done better. No. I think he's a fabulous guy. Mm -hmm. Of course, there have been a few times, you will admit, that uh, <coughs> you did call me in dire emergency and I had to come by and bail you out. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of things. I know. Two major fights with Bob, I remember, mm -hmm. and one disgusting lump that uh, turned out to be completely mm -hmm. benign, though you were panicked. I know. Way. You were there for me. That's the main and, thing. And you for me, you know. And I, and I appreciate it. I think, actually, that we, we've been better friends than, than, than husband yeah, and wife. Yeah, probably we have. But, you know, nobody made me laugh the way you did, Joe. I love Bob with all my heart. It isn't that. It's just that you, you could always, you know, you could push that button. So why, why is that so important, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're crazy. <laughs> So did that girl that uh, dumped you today, did she make you laugh? I, I don't know. I, I have to put that behind. You know. Funny how life goes. It's amazing. It's amazing.
It's definitely late. Christmas Eve and late. Let's go. Everyone says I love you. The cop on the corner and the burglar too. Christmas Eve in Paris. What a year. And that sort of brings us to the end of our story. I told Skylar someone should write it up as a movie. She said, better make it into a musical or no one's gonna believe it. By the way, that night, I met a terrific guy. I mean, talk about sex. There are only eight little letters in the phrase you'll find. But they mean a lot more than all the other words combined. Everywhere, the whole world through, the king in the palace and the peasant too, the tiger in the jungle and the monk in the zoo.